And now, since my time approaches, I beg your grace to hear my confession. Also, I should like the constable present when I receive the good lord. Madam. My child, do you have a confession? Yes. I confess my innocence before God. I solemnly swear on the damnation of my soul that I have never been unfaithful to my lord and husband. My lords, why have you come? This is the warrant for your arrest. You are charged with committing adultery with Mark Smeaton, Sir Henry Norris, and William Brereton. Both Smeaton and Brereton have already confessed their guilt. We are come at the King's command to conduct you to the Tower, there to abide during His Majesty's pleasure. If it be His Majesty's pleasure, then I am ready to obey, nor ever offended with my body against him. I do not say that I have always borne towards him the humility which I owed him, considering his kindness and the great honor he showed me and the great respect he always paid me. I admit to you that I have often taken it into my head to be jealous of him. But God knows and is my witness I have not sinned against him in any other way. Think not I say this in the hope to prolong my life. God has taught me how to die and he will strengthen my faith. As for my brother. I love you. <laughs> I look after you, I swear. And those others who were unjustly condemned. I would willingly have suffered many deaths to deliver them. But since I see it pleases the king, I will willingly accompany them in death. With this assurance. That I shall lead an endless life with them in peace. Master Kingston, please go and make sure to report my lady's true and last confession, so the world will know it. I will. <laughs> 